Hello and welcome back to the Big Ski Family. <laughs> We are so excited to share with you our adventures over the holidays. Janice, my wife, is number nine of 12 Johnston children. That's right, she has seven brothers, there's five sisters in the family, and around Christmas each year, our family piles into the car, and for years we used to go to Southern California. This year we went to Sacramento, California, where her siblings, three out of uh, the 12 live now. And it was so fun to be with them. Uncle Doug and Aunt Rachel are really the, the uh, anchoring host. And then you have a brother, Mark, who has a home in the area, just generously opens his home. You have brother Tim and Brenda, his wife and their family open their home. And now Parker uh, and Richie, who are uh, Doug and Rachel's sons, um, open their homes as well. Anyways, Doug and Rachel, take over all the buying of the food in advance. They go to Costco, they put together some great, you know, lasagnas and, and salads and just really great meals. Literally cost each person 25 bucks for the entire awesome weekend. Our family on the Johnston side is so big that we actually have to use a mega church to pull off a family reunion. And Bayside, which happens to be a big church in that area, um, was generous enough to allow us to stay at their facility, which was just unbelievably cool. It was just a rich, rich time. The Johnstons always put a lot of thought and investment into our times together. And it was no different this time, not only in the meals and the sharing times, but also in the uh, just getting together. Intentionality, if there's one word I'd use to describe the Johnston family, there's intentional. And the guys got together in the afternoon one of the days, read some scriptures, and then had the young men pepper the older guys or the married guys uh, with questions. And it was just a rich time. While we were doing that, the young ladies were uh, being encouraged by my wife and my sister-in-law, Rachel, and they were doing a study um, sharing from scripture on words and their words, especially in regards to their marriage relationships and how to build up one another and build up uh, their, their spouses and build up their families. And it was just like, so super edifying, uh, rich times there together. Another thing we did was a wor family workout. The whole family got together. It was just a fun time doing things together as a family. Uncle Mark is one of the most creative guys on the planet. And if you've ever been to Uncle Mark's house, it's like being in a museum, a circus, a historical society, um, and a pawn shop all at the same time because he's got everything that a kid would want, including little funny bikes that are like built for clowns in the circus.
son! Oh no! Oh no! And we just had a blast doing it. He has these funny push scooters. We did a game where you play baseball with a little spongy ball with a tennis racket. But it's just a ball. Mark puts so much fun into the Johnston family as well as other things, as I'll mention in just a moment. He really invests in our times together. In the evening, Doug um, put on a little workshop for anybody who was interested, eight years and above, he said, um, interested in investing in stocks. And he shared all sorts of things about the markets, about dividends, about earnings per share, about uh, PE ratios and all this stuff. And I don't know how much the young ones got um, or us old ones. No, but it was very educational. Uncle Mark, last year when our family got together, he gave the kids a certain amount of money and he turned them loose. And he says with directions in a letter that spelled out, hey, you're gonna go and you're gonna invest this, this, these funds in a business or in some sort of product, uh, productive way. And when you come back a year from now, you're going to give an accounting for it. And it was such a fun time to hear how these young people, young ages, it didn't matter, you know, whether they were six, eight, 10, 12, up into their teens, early 20s, had taken that money and invested it. Everything from like uh, a honey business, reselling and repackaging honey, someone, some, some of the nieces and nephews made signs that are just gorgeous, amazing signs and sold signs. Uh, Kelsey bought a keyboard, taught piano lessons. Hunter bought an amplification for his harp, ended up doing street performing, brought in a lot of money that way. Um, it's just the, the creativity and the ideas that they did were just exciting to see and it really got their wheels turning and it was really fun to watch Uncle Mark pour into them. And so each one gave their report. At the end of the report, he awarded first, second, and third prizes, which was really fun. It was really honored to see Kelsey earn first place for her hard work. Um, and I will say this, he then surprised everybody by saying, hey, next year we're gonna do another challenge. And it was really, really interesting, but he gave them, the older teens, he gave them $500, some of them gave $250 to invest in the stock market. And having just had a workshop on stocks, they were ready and armed to be hazardous. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with this money. But he's been given the responsibility to go invest it in the markets and give a report when they come back in December of 2020 with what did you do, how well did you invest, and how did you steward those funds? Mark also gave some other instructions with that uh, direction to go, directive to go invest that money. He said, you must keep a log starting this year of a hundred acts, random acts of kindness that you initiate and log them throughout the year. And he says, that's a critical part of this investment exercise. You're gonna invest in the markets, you're gonna invest in people. And he says, don't come back and give a report um, or be a part of this contest if you don't do the 100 acts of random kindness. So it's gonna be a fun, fun year. Already, we're seeing our children both excited about investing those dollars, but also excited about uh, doing those acts. And it's it's just, again, a great reminder to, to invest in the lives of others. One of the evenings, uh, I wanna thank our cousins, April, and Hunter. They were in charge of all the activities and setting up things. Well, they came up with the idea to have what they call a dance off of the decades. And that is if you were born in the seventies, you were put in a group. If you were born in the eighties, nineties, or in 2000, 2010 to now, you're put in a group and you were told to get a song from that era and then put a little choreography, chore can't even say the word, choreography together and do a little dance off.
Anyways, it was hysterical. The real fun in these kinds of events is really just being together with people, working through problem solving, being creative, laughing with and at one another. And I was pretty pleased with the, the little uh, jig we put together, trying to use all the little dance moves of the 80s, of which I didn't even dance in the 80s. I mean, we didn't grow up dancing. And so it was kind of funny to see the non-dancers dance. And that's really what I, I guess the humor was in the whole situation. But anyways, we had a great time. In wrapping up, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the family that made this possible. You know, families, I like to say family relationships are not convenient and, and they're not efficient. Meaning it's always more efficient to stay home and to save your money and not go and not participate, not travel, not engage. Um, there were over 70 of us together there uh, for our time together. Many were actually not able to make it uh, due to distance and some other uh, family challenges and things. But those that made it, uh, made it special and powerful. And I just am so grateful for times like these. Anyways, hope this uh, was enjoyable at some level for you. I hope you have a phenomenal new year. Uh, you're kicking off a brand new year, a new decade. I'm so excited about 2020 and all the Lord has in store. Thanks for following along. Have a phenomenal day and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Appreciate you. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if um, you think someone might be interested. Bye-bye.